Hey there, I'm Alan Matthews, and this series of videos that we're just getting into, this is number one, is all about how to learn any piece of music in seven easy manageable steps. And that's really what we want to do is keep things very small, keep things very manageable, so that we can move forward and feel good about it immediately. I'm all about some immediate gratification. And so what this does is allows us to go into a piece of music and just learn it so that we learn it really well. We learn it one time instead of making a lot of mistakes the first few times around and then having to go back, fix our mistakes that we've been making, all the things that we've been working in, our bad techniques, our wrong notes, and actually get it right from the first time so that we learn it quickly, we learn it really well, and then we can reproduce it in performance, if that's what we're doing, with a lot of confidence. And so, let's get started. The first step of these seven is to break the piece of music into little bitty manageable sections. And this could be just a measure, it could be a full section, it could be a line, it could be two measures. It depends on the music, it depends on your level and your abilities right from the get-go. You wanna choose something that is really small and really manageable. I oftentimes will just do a measure, two measures. And so it doesn't have to be a big it doesn't have to be a big section. Just make it very manageable. And so let's look how how to do that right now. So to make small sections, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to look for a few things. Okay, we have three beats in the measure, as we can see right here. And as it looks to me, I'm just glancing through here, we have this little pattern here. And then that pattern happens again. You see that? We have this basically, here's a big section. I meant to include that in there. And then basically, we do the same thing again, right there. And so, a good section would be basically to here. Now, what that does is it creates, it creates this little section right here, but it doesn't give us the continuity of going to the next one. So instead of doing that, I'm going to put it right there, right there. And so this is our first section right here. The next section would go from here all the way to the first note of the next measure. So what we always want to do, what we always want to do is cross over the measure. Let's take a different example. If we're just going to go one measure at a time, we don't want to stop here. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to cross over the bar and go all the way to right here. Now we'll start our next section with at the beginning of the bar. And that way we're overlapping a note every single time so that whenever we put them together, then we're, we've actually overlapped already and we don't get these big audible gaps right here, right here, right at the bar lines because bar lines are not musical to hear. They're convenient as far as organizing the music, but they're not nice to listen to. They're, they're very seldom musical. So con continue over the bar to there for a section or make a bigger section and go all the way over to there. One more way of breaking up music into sections is to know the fact that short notes lead to long notes. So here we could also do this, boom. So we have this one note for free. Then we have these, that's just kind of how I say it, one note for free or one for nothing. And then we have all these short notes right here leading forward to this long note right there. And so then this would be a section. And then you could say, okay, well these short notes are leading over to this long note. And really these aren't short notes comparative to that, but it is the rest of the stuff leading forward to the next downbeat. And so we have that sort of thing going to there, those go over to there, those go over to there. So that short notes lead to long notes. And that's another way to break things up into sections. This is especially useful if your music is really dense and there are a lot of 16th notes happening, um, things like that. Then you can break it up into smaller sections just by looking at short notes leading to long notes. Great. So now we've defined how to make some smaller sections. And so now we can move on to the next step. And the next step is 
looking at all the little dots all over the page and all the writing and everything. So again, break everything into little pieces and let's move on to number two.